I haven't even uh, come the whole way down to the Himalaya foot yet. I'm in the middle way yet. And I'm wearing just a white clothes, you know, like any of Indian Punjab, you know. It's normal. And you know, my long hair, it's there like everybody else. And already people look at me and go home and calculate the, the astrology and say, Oh, she's a Buddha. <laughs> And then everybody else will go tell everybody, and then they all come, and then I'm already in the middle of something there, you know? <laughs> Fine. Okay, then I left, I go to Taiwan, sit in the middle of the small house, the house there, ash of the dead people. And I, I sit in a cemetery, you know? <laughs> ash cemetery. And still people come and knock in the door in the middle of the night, and raining and all things, thunder and storm and everything. And then say he has a dream calling Bodhisattva, tell him to go there. <laughs> okay, fine, okay, I go somewhere else. <laughs> and I went to America, no? where nobody even cared. And I stay in a ghetto area where nobody even cared. And I just clean the temple. And also somebody come and knock at door again. <laughs> Uh, they're in the master, tell them to come here at what time? <laughs> to see Master Ching. <laughs> and how do they know even my name? They forgot Ching Hai, but they say Master Ching. I don't remember Master Ching. <laughs> and got to give them initiation. Yeah, it's, it's something, you know, always. So I might as well, okay, <laughs> give up. Yeah? Otherwise, my intention on the planet this time is not to go out and preach and give initiation. I don't need to do that, understand? I could sit in a cave somewhere and then help, yeah? Just like now, you're not the only one that being liberated and helped. All the whole world out there. So 99.7% you met are saying. So it cannot be anything better than that. I don't need to go and talk to people. But I don't know, somehow it happens, so it's fine, it's fine, it's okay. It causes a lot of problems, <laughs> but it's all right, yeah. From now on you know already, eh? You know, you don't need to even see me much in order to get help. So you don't need to see me, right? It's, it's okay, right? Mm. Today you can just go home and meditate, that's good enough. Okay? Yeah? What is, I hear something protesting? <laughs> I don't hear the enthusiastic yes. <laughs> is yes or no? Oh. Why? <laughs> oh, God. That's a problem with pets, you see. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem with pets. Yeah, I know that. You see, because Sometimes I go out and yeah, sometimes long ago, you know, when I sometimes I go and if I see some dog pal where they keep a stray dog and I'll come in and give some donation, yeah? Or maybe pet some head and it's okay, then I go. And they also benefit, yeah? Because I build I give money to build houses for them, nah? Then it's okay, they benefit in any way. Yeah. But if I take them home like my dogs then, oh, they ask for more every day. Petting, you know, cutting heads, cheese, uh, uh, vegetarian bone, uh, give food from the table, you know, personal attention, and sleep on my bed, etc. Et <laughs> because they're my pets, that's a problem. If they just are like any other dogs, I help anyway, but I don't have to take care. And you are the dog. <laughs> you are the, the pet, you know, spoiled, spoiled pet. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Similar like the dogs, eh? Not like you are the dog, but you're similar to my dogs. Yeah, if they don't know me, if they just stay in the center, I also have them, eh? And somebody else, <laughs> take them out and, and love them, you know? But they benefit meanwhile. But they, because I adopt some of them and now they make me responsible. If I don't see them long time, they become like this. <laughs> Loose hair, you know. 
and listless. Don't talk. Don't talk. Yeah. If for a little or short time, okay, but long time, especially the girl who love to sleep on my bed. She lose hair, she lose weight, she don't eat, become terrible. Yeah. If I live, if I stay too long. See that? See the problem of adopting pet? <laughs> That's why before I don't have dogs, because I know my lifestyle is so difficult to have dogs. I love them indirectly, you know, I go to centers and give donations wherever I see, wherever I can. But now, then, because I adopt some of them, and then it's different, it become like mine, you know. Then I have to take care a lot, because I, even though a lot of other people take care, but they know I'm the one. <laughs> They're not happy to be with just a attendance. Or the same one who feeds him every day. They're not happy with it. I have to see my mom. <laughs> okay. Uh, we meditate. Can we meditate like this? No chance, huh? Yeah? How? I know but how you sit like that. You okay? Doesn't matter? Okay, well. Let's try. If you don't like, you go out, okay? <laughs> you don't like to go to the trailer to meditate, all right? Yes. Whatever bother you and you can change it, change it, all right? If the wife bug you, sell the wife. <laughs> <laughs> if the husband trouble you, sell him. <laughs> Threaten him that give him to residency. <laughs> we have problem. Everybody has problem, but don't sink into it. Huh? It's just uh, one of the hurdles that we have to go through. If we can go through, go through. If you cannot go through, fly through it. Huh? Or go the other way around. Huh? Don't just stand in there and make it such a big deal. Anything concerning physical problem is no big deal. Huh? Anything concerning us is no big deal. You don't have enough money anymore to pay for the house, sell it. Buy a mobile home, buy a trailer, or live in trailer park, whatever, who cares? All right? Just temporary, temporary. I don't make a big deal or problem and then come and ask me about that even. Bring all that house and everything, carry the whole house here. Heavy, heavy, you know? <laughs> If the job is not uh, good for you, you, you take another job. Go out, sell tofu, whatever. As long as you have enough money to live, who cares? <laughs> Even many masters, they are not rich, you know? They are not rich and famous, not all of them. So we are not even master, and Jesus suffer, you know? So Jesus also had a problem, probably when he was a carpenter, his, mother, his father didn't make enough money even, who knows, yeah? <laughs> but he doesn't bother anybody about that, huh? Now, meditate. You gain more points all the time if you know how, yeah? Even if you don't meditate well, there are many ways to, to gain spiritual merit. You read master books, even picture, oh, a lot of merit, okay? Uh, even a picture, read magazine, read books, what TV, just like seeing me, understand? Millions of points, every time, all the time. So you do it 24 hours, anytime you can, and you, you be in the fifth level in no time. You just don't utilize it. If you don't have money, just ask the center, say, I permit you to ask free anything you need, video, anything that you need, you don't have money, you say, Master, tell me that. I ask from you free because I need it, okay? You don't have to watch a different video, even just one video, watch again, 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 don't care. You gain a lot of spiritual energy, merit. You don't know it, that's why you're just too busy, we're working, working, and you, you did not earn all this time. Anything I make you do or tell you to do, it's just to help you to go up quick. Anything to do with me, be the picture to look at it, the magazine, the book, the video. Oh, all day long, you do anything with things to do with me, and you just gain and gain in, and you go up very quick. Understand now? Yes. And you serve your brother, sister. You gain point from each other. You are each other's treasure as well. 
be nice to each other, serve each other, and always master in the heart, in the face, in the eyes, everywhere. Everywhere you carry my picture, you have point. You put magazine around even you don't read, you put the cassette, you don't even listen, doesn't matter. All this will help you quick, quick. Understand? Use it. Yeah? I'm telling you now, honestly. You don't have to buy new, eh? You don't have to buy anything new. If you have whatever you have already enough, just use them. Use them all the time, 24 hours. Sleep with it, awake with it, eat with it, drink with it, drive with it, okay? Don't have to buy anything new, it's not that. And if you did not have anything at all, you can even borrow from sister, it's fine, as long as you, I, you have me around. Anything to do with me, yeah? I watch a video, the same video again and again, doesn't matter, yeah? Don't have to buy And if you really don't have it, just come and say, really, Master, say that. But you really have the right to demand free lecture. What I mean is, I should not tell you this, because everything you do should be spontaneous. But because you're so slow, I really took pity on you. So I tell you that everything to do with the master, yeah, directly, especially video, yeah. You don't have it. Go to the sister house, watch, yeah. Um, buy a small computer or video or hand pocket video, whatever CD, whatever. Watch it anytime you can. On magazine, everything. Video is more than magazine and picture, or even to look at a picture. The person who die and look at the picture is gone to the third level immediately. Just look at the picture before he die, that's it. And uh, anything to do with Master, just dip in all day long, anytime you can, except when you're working and driving, of course, but hang a picture there, whatever you do, okay? Just make use of it. <laughs> I really feel sorry for you, so I tell you, nah? Otherwise, if I really want to sell, I would have told a long time ago, or told everybody. Not just this uh, small group of people. In case you think that I really want to sell anything, it's not that. Anything you do, anything you can to do with Master, you will be speaking. Yeah? Ciao. Yeah. Oh, because you don't need to watch TV, you know that? Can you hear me back there? Yes. You really, you really don't need to watch TV, just watch people is enough, you know? <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes you see a couple, you know, like you go to coffee shop or something, huh? Or you, you see a couple sitting there holding hands, yeah. And you look at them and you wonder what they see in each other, you know? <laughs> or when you go into the zoo and you... Some people go into the zoo but they look into each other's eyes and sit there in front of the tiger cage and look into each other's eyes and you wonder, why wouldn't they prefer to look at the tiger? You know? <laughs> I'm not making a lecture or talk anything, it just suddenly comes to my mind. <laughs> and all this karma, only, you know, karma only bind together and then they take it so seriously. Blame each other, you don't love me anymore. <laughs> Why? I love you so much. Why you don't love me? Why you did this? Why you did that? And then blaming each other and nagging each other and all kind of things. <laughs> so seriously, huh? And it's just karma. They don't even know that last life she was a lion or she was a tiger or whatever. No? <laughs> they were eating him up and now that's why he came back here. And got eaten again in different ways. <laughs> Maybe before she was eating his flesh, now she's eating his wallet. <laughs> and all the while he loves her, you know. <laughs> Things like that. Uh, so funny, life is... Yeah, it's all the creation of Maya. They make you feel that way. Make you think that way, and all the while you think you are the one who is in charge of your life. It makes you think that you're in charge of your life, make you think that you love this person and you hate that person. It's all like puppet, you know, in his hand. You, we don't practice spiritual liberation, we just forever be enslaved. Just like uh, 
pocket. And all the while, I'm feeling proud of it. Like I have a good girlfriend, I have a nice boyfriend, all this stuff. Or I have a good mother or bad daughter, whatever it is, it's all the same. What a big magician this guy is. Yeah, he's also feeling the creator in him, you know. Very small, tiny, tiny, you know, vincid little spot of creator in him. And he still wants to expand. And he cannot expand and he goes seduce people <laughs> into his kingdom. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's what it does. You know, and then once you create karma, then it continues. You don't have to do much anymore. You just have to set up the beginning. And then you own each other, and then you come back again, and then you own more, and then etc. It's just like a circle. A circle, and back and forth all the time, it never ends. Like uh, normally, no problem. He go and talking to one person he hears and tell him to kill the other person, and if that person listen and kill the other person, that's it. The circle begins, and it will never end. Or if he go down and uh, eat some meat here, you know, and then he begin to count. He begin to count. Uh, you eat this, you eat that, and and one thing lead to another, and it never ends. What were you laughing at? <laughs> I was laughing, then you were laughing. Why? <laughs> Just laugh together, huh? <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> if I'm a football player, you'll be good cheerleaders. Huh? <laughs> Cheerleading group. Okay, that's it. Thanks for laughing with me. <laughs> that laughing is infectious, eh? Same with crying, anything else. So make sure the environment is happy. Because when you're happy, people around you have also a chance. There is a chance that they will also be affected by your happiness and feel also elated. No? Positive atmosphere influence people. Same with negative. So we choose what you do.